so we've jumped forward in time. Yeah. It, well, yeah. The the previous episode was that the the wedding of uh, you know of Renera, Renera and uh, and always in you know these Game of Thrones shows, weddings are very <laughs> <laughs> yeah really got some very spectacle dramatic. to them. Um, yeah, and then and then they had the time jump, and I thought the time jump like that is probably it's almost rebooting the show in some ways. And probably a very difficult task. And so I thought they did as as best. I thought they did very well. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. I, I heard uh, some people were like too jostled by it or they were, they got confused by it or something. But I my I, I think I knew it was going to happen. I think you had mentioned it was going to happen. So I was I was like watching for it. And also, I like that it happened reasonably early in the story. So it's not like. You know, if you if you went along for three seasons and then suddenly you're you lose all the actors that you had been become attached to, that would be a different story. But this feels like to me a, a logical expansion of where we're going with this thing. I, I actually love it. I think it's like it may, for me, it really makes it awesome. Yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I think it lo- it makes sense every like all even with all that time passed, I I can logically figure out where everybody yeah wh- how everybody got here. Um, and like, and I kind of even like how like Allison's actor kind of has like more crazy eyes now, <laughs> like you know, like she's like, like she she's like more into her 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 schemes, and so she uh, she kind of refl- the actress kind of reflects that. You know, going from twenty years old to thirty years old or whatever it is they did, hmm. you don't have to recast. You could try to kind of age up the twenty year olds a little tiny bit, but. I like I like the statement that the recasting makes. It's sort of the recasting says like it's 10 years later and we're dealing with like kind of different entities now. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they I think they still do a good job. They don't look exactly like each other. Or the other the previous actresses. But yeah. I think they did a great job with um, the actors really get. I think the characters, I think the um, and just like there's just so much happens, like so much happens in this show. <laughs> and like you think about what happens in Rings of Power, where in this previous episode of Rings of Power, they finally leave uh, Numenor. Numenor. <laughs> and like, what do I care whether we're in Numenor or not? You know, like, and when the previous episode, like they already decided to leave Numenor and then this episode um, we're talking about like this is the fifth episode. The next episode will yeah. air tomorrow. The, the fifth hour of entertainment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, like they there's it's like the same stuff happens in the same episode. There's two training sessions in each of these shows, one with Galadriel and one in with the 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 boys in the uh, in the yard in House of the Dragon. And the, the the disparity between these this tale of two training sessions, you have one training session with Galadriel where it's nonsense. It's just it's like childish. It's it's just it's it, like what what does this scene say besides which we already know is Galadriel's a, a girl boss, right? Which I, you know I'm not very familiar with Tolkien lore. I, was she like a warrior? I, I don't Probably. remember. I, I thought she was like a sorcerer, like and stuff. I don't know. I, what I do know is that when we I post I posted a TikTok of of us saying like she seems like she's fourteen and adolescent, and they're like that's because she is an elf. This is five thousand years before the new ones. An elf, yeah. And they're they're what they're trying to say without saying it is that apparently they think that elves' brains develop super slowly because they live so long. I'm like, I don't think that's how it works. I don't yeah. think elves are like Grogu. Yeah, it's not like Baby Yoda, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's like that. I think like I don't think like like you got all these two thousand year old elves walking around being like impetulant, like fourteen year olds. <laughs> yeah, you have like a thousand year olds just being like goo goo gaga. I think I think they reach a level of I think they age about as fast as men do, and then they go way beyond yeah. the level of it's- wisdom and. Yeah, yeah, that that makes that makes no sense. So she shouldn't act like a 15 year old. What a stupid thing to say. You and, stupid fucking nerds. And like, yeah. And <laughs> and so, yeah. So this training session was totally just nonsense fluff that you could have just skipped. And uh, but then the training session in Hot House of the Dragon, Hot D, it, um, you know, you have Kristen Cole, who 
you know, he has all this pent up like aggression toward these like kids. And then he's on Allison's side now. And just like his development is so intriguing. And they didn't even have to waste any time on his defecting to her side. It was, it was like one brief scene. Yeah. In, in the last I mean, you episode. Got it. Yeah, I get it. And in yeah. like in the way they left in the previous episode where he's about to kill her to kill himself and then Allison shows up. Yeah. That could have gone in so many different directions. And the way they took it was the most interesting direction. Yeah. Just let us infer. Like, yeah, yeah it, I think that's great. And yeah, that's what I like about the show is, again, it respects the intelligence of the audience every time. They, and it's conf- it's confident enough in its communication that it's like hey, we've already made this thing clear. You know, that's how you can. And, and this is really what you want from your best stories. When Damon shows up to a wedding. You don't have to have any dialogue about like, what's he doing here? You know, yeah. uh, you, you, you know, just his presence is like, who's going to die? Who's going to get fucked? Who's, you know, it, it you gasp <laughs> yeah. with his, you know. Yeah. No words were spoken. He just shows up. Yeah. I, I, I gasped when he showed up. It was great. Yeah. And right. then, yeah. So this training session, then you have, um, you know, Ren, uh, Renera's a uh, stud muffin there who's supposed you, you, people are not supposed to he's not no, no he's the father of all these children but people know and we're and, not glued in either right or did i miss it like at first we're not like we just we end up figuring it out kind of quickly but yeah we we we're not supposed to know but you know he has the all the children have brown hair he kind of uh, during this training session he lords over them like a parent and then it becomes clear that yes these are all his children and 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 then you have king viserys who's like looking upon it and he's trying to happy talk everything everybody around knows that these are this guy's kids because of the way he's acting and he's just he's trying to it's it reminds me of like uh you know when the media is like we're not in a recession right now. It's we're, we're changing the definition of recession. It's great right now. Right. It's the same where the king is like, I am going to like willfully ignore what I can plainly see with my eyes because I know it will stave off conflict a little bit longer. And it's just it, it's such a good message or a good timely uh, story. for Yeah. This time. Like when, when she suggests she's like, all right, how about my son will marry your daughter and then you know you, we can ha- we can be united and he's like what a wonderful idea he's like anything that will make that because he caused this whole fucking problem like you know there there there's just a little bit of decisiveness about these things would go a long way um no. well i guess I think- he, he he was decisive that she's the heir but it's it's also kind of clearly the unpopular move with the kingdom and you represent the kingdom you yeah. know so like yeah, I love it. And I love I love watching these two women just give birth to a million boys <laughs> and just try to secure their legacies like crazy. You know, yeah. I, I love the opening sequence of her being commanded to see the queen. And she she's like, I'm not giving her the satisfaction. I'm going to walk up there myself, you know, just passing by these these citizens who are like, uh, uh, I'm so glad to congratulate you. She's like <laughs> bleeding all over the place. <laughs> It's a great, great show. Yeah, and I, I love like the uh, how the, the king in every episode is looking more and more like the crypt keeper. Yeah, and, but, <laughs> it's he, like, but he the also previous episode you were like he, he collapses and you're like oh he's dead, and then ten years later he's still alive. He's missing it. an arm. I was so glad to see that because I I thought I thought it was like a little convenient to have him like just drop at the end of the yeah you know, I thought it was cool because it would mean that you'd get to advance the story, but I like that like yeah this guy is hanging on for dear life and like his death when he finally, like he's the, the sands through the hourglass of this thing when he drops, all the tension is going to come crashing down. And yeah. And and like, and Damon's role in that competition is not immaterial either. You know? Yeah. I I think if I were to have one criticism is that the Damon story in this previous episode or this most recent episode was a little like shaky, like the, uh, like what what was happening with his because he you, you could but at the at the wedding he was kind of courting that girl the girl was courting him and then he they got married and then like yeah you know, she was giving birth and then like she like committed suicide with the dragon I, I i feel like it should have been more clear that she was like done for with her because in the in the in the source material they kind of make it clear that she was basically dying in childbirth mm. but i i don't feel like it was made 
super clear. It felt it was more like of, she was like giving up on something or. Yeah, yeah it, it, it didn't really. I, I It should have been more clear that she was like about to die and that mm-hmm. she wanted a, a, a dragon rider's death or whatever. But um yeah, that was a that's a minor nitpick. But, yeah, it's uh, the only one of the of the of the lot so far that I every week I'm like, ooh, yeah, you know, that's really the that's the that's the marker, right? If, if when you when you're like, oh, it's I, I forgot a new one's up right now. I, I, my at my next opportunity, I'll get to watch it. Versus the other ones where I'm like, okay, so the, if this is episode six and there's ten <laughs> episodes, how many more weeks of She Hulk do I have to survive <laughs> for the sake of the podcast? Uh. No, this it's it's a great it's a great treat. She Hulk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a yes. wedding episode. It's a wedding. Yeah, well, the, their wedding episodes were just as good as Hot D episode. If only episode. the She Hulk wedding episode had gone similarly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like a, a rat comes and like licks up the uh, <laughs> the blood. I was trying to explain Hot D to Nina and also House of the Dragon, and. Um, <laughs> And she was like, why do you watch this show? <laughs> she's, like, the sound, she's like, this show sounds grotesque. Everybody's pregnant all the time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty great. It's pretty yeah. like it, well, it, it speaks to something extremely human, you know? Yeah, the, the, I saw some like blue checks talking about uh, how like, oh, everyone's dying in childbirth. It's like it's the Middle Ages like era. People like died of cuts and childbirth, especially. Well, <laughs> what's just... their complaint? What's their complaint exactly? Yeah, there's something about sexism. It's it's vague. They it, just it, like... it's okay. It's like bad uh, depictions or something. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but... well, you go. You watch She Hulk then, would you? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> there's another, a few other shows just for you. Just for a few you. million but... that I'm stuck with. <laughs> Let me have my hot D, and also House of the Dragon. And House of the Dragon. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.